Despite what you may be hearing, there are more players on the field for the Super Bowl that are not just named Colin Kaepernick and Joe Flacco, well, and Ray Lewis, of course. Of course. It's a quarterback-driven league, but we're going to talk about the players outside that position that are the biggest reason the Ravens and the 49ers are in the Super Bowl in this week's game time decision. And Eric, let's start with the Baltimore Ravens. Flacco has been phenomenal in the playoffs, uh, but he's had a lot of help, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, I mean, I think you could mention Lewis and you could mention Haloti Nada and Terrell Suggs, but all those guys have been playing hurt this year. I don't think it's been Ed Reed's best year, although he has played well in the playoffs, I look to a guy like Dan L. Ellerby. He's been in the lineup, been playing almost every defensive snap, and lined up right next to Lewis, and when he was out of the lineup, I thought really stepped up his game this season, and he's been huge again in the postseason. So Ellerby, to me, is an underrated guy, but I think in terms of where he places importance-wise on that team, pretty darn high. Yeah, and when you look specifically at the playoffs, and it's hard to ignore what Anquan Bolden has done Absolutely. in the past couple of games. Another guy in terms of the whole regular season is Dennis Pitta. You know, he was a, you know, we talked about Ed Dixon a lot before the season, but Pitta is somebody that really stepped up and helped out the passing game. He got caught a touchdown uh, against New England. So, you know, we know about Ray Rice, we know about Torrey Smith. Yep. Bolden and Dennis Pitta have kind of surprised people a little bit. You look at the San Francisco 49ers, you know, that Packers game, and really the last kind of month of the season, a lot of Colin Kaepernick, and that offense has kind of overshadowed a defense that we know is still one of the league's best. Absolutely. And, and I thought before week 15, when Justice Smith got hurt against the New England Patriots, it was the best defense in the NFL because he was on the field and because he absorbed so many blocks and because he could push guys into the backfield. He really helped clear up the other Missouri guy, Alden Smith, for all those sacks. Guess what? Alden Smith hasn't had a sack since that moment he went down. So that tells you kind of what he does in that defense, what his value is, just how important he is. Pass rush hasn't been the same. He's been playing hurt, but Justin Smith means a lot to this team when he's fully healthy. You know, Justin Smith might be have the best proportion in terms of stats to what he means to the field. Because right. you don't see the numbers necessarily, but he's just an incredible player. And you mentioned that defense. I thought the secondary played really well against Atlanta. We know it's a very physical secondary. They don't have the names like Willis and Bowman and the Smiths up front, but they've played really well. On offense, you know, Michael Crabtree, I think, is one of the guys that's had maybe a breakout year. I mean, he's really come into his own. I mean, he talked a lot more than he put up on the field. Uh, but with, when Colin Kaepernick took over, he turned into a great weapon. For him. Absolutely made him a better player, you know. And, and Vernon Davis has now come on, and he's been a big part of this team. But to me, it's been Crabtree's emergence. And you can look at that offensive line, too. I mean, you've got guys like Joe Staley, who's been very good. Mike Potty, maybe the, one of the best five guards in the NFL. Maybe one of the best two or three guards in the NFL. Anthony Davis come on at right tackle. But as far as importance to this offense, no guys other than Frank Gore and Michael Crabtree, for my money at least, uh, would appear atop this list. You mentioned Frank Gore, and because we've been talking so much about the quarterbacks and the head coaches in this one, yeah. Frank Gore and Ray Rice, I mean, you're talking about two different style running backs, but two of the top ten maybe running backs in the entire league. Rice is such a good pass catcher, so important to that offense. Frank Gore just is so consistent year after year after year, and he really had a strong season this year in this new offense in the capital. Yeah, I mean, just a, a song for the running game these days. I mean, we just haven't had a lot of teams that can run the ball. Remember the Giants of Patriots last year, very below average in those categories. It's nice to see the run game return. You know, we can certainly expect the Super Bowl most likely will come down to the play of Kaepernick and Flacco. Sure. But they, both teams are deep, balanced, and plenty of guys that can step up and maybe take Super Bowl MVP honors. We'll have to wait and see. So which player on the Ravens and 49ers do you think is the biggest reason to get their teams to the Super Bowl? Not Colin Kaepernick or Joe Flacco. Let us know on our YouTube page and head to our website at ProFootballWeekly.com.